Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a uh, nice perch fly. This is tied on a jig head, jig hook. Uh, rides inverted. It's a uh, nice user-friendly fly, nice size. Doesn't uh, take a big rod to throw it, a seven to eight weight rod will get the job done with this as well. Uh, you can use it on bigger, but it does have a nice thick, uh, robust profile to it. Push some water and uh, doesn't get snagged up in your weeds or bottom. So we'll start. We're going to be using a Gamagatsu uh, one knot or size one uh, jig jig hook on this. We'll be putting a uh, one eighth or large cone head on that, a gold cone head. I've got some uh, five sixteenths gold eyes for the, the front. Put on at the end there. We are going to be using some 35 thou lead uh, underneath to help get it down so it rides inverted. That's very critical. The body materials, I'm going to be using some uh, flash and slinky. This is an olive and orange. And also from the underbelly and the side, I'm going to be using some Steve Ferro fibers here. This has got lots of nice flash right in it. It's very good material. These materials will blend and marry together so they will uh, not separate in the water. Uh, you might want to watch when you're uh, using different materials that they, they kind of um, they bind together or marry, if you'd want to say. Side, so I'm going to use some uh, Mirror Orange Mirage uh, on there for some flash. And uh, I think that's about it. We're going to use some UV material, some resin to finish it all up with. I'll put a cone head on my hook right now. Get it in the vise. Let's get some of this or lead-free wire. Some places they want lead-free. It's not a bad idea, folks, to go that way anyway. About 10 or 12 turns on there for sure. I'll get my little side players here so I don't ruin my tying scissors. There we go. And I'll start my three odd thread in the front. Come to the rear. Make sure I got enough area to tie down my materials. They all go down at the head of the lead. It's a really good method of tying. I really enjoy when I've seen this. The uh, first time I think it was Paul Mounahan that i seen it online. He uses this style of weighted flies with a cone. It really sets up a, a streamer pattern really nice. Uh, it's a great idea. So let's uh, get started here. I'm going to do the under the body here. I'm going to get a little bit of our orange flash and slinky. Got some of the slinky fibers uh, that comes alive right in it. Going to make sure I have that tapered. Tie some on each side. Tie it back over the lid. You get a little bit of cover on the lid. There we go. Then I'll grab myself some of this Mirage tinsel, orange, nice little add. It really bounces light off it in the water. Really nice material from Semperfly. Tie three strands on each side. To the end of the tail. That one there's a little bit short. A little bit short. I'm just going to cut that off. And I'll find another one here, just to replace it. Didn't realize that one was in there. I'm tying quite a ways from my bench or my vice here with my arm straight out ahead of me so I don't have to show my clothing. And that this shows a fly a little better, in my opinion, when it's shot from this angle. I'm going to tie it off right there. Get a little bit of Add some in on my thread so it doesn't fall apart. Push my 
spooned back here. Get a thread base down so my material's kind of got a little something to hang on to. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the rest of my belly. I'm going to use some of this nice, this is an off-weight Steve Farrah fiber. It's nice, bright, got a nice flash in it. Take the hank in half, and then I'll cut it. Taper my body out. Okay. Now that's going to go on the bottom here. There we go. Make sure it's covered in the bottom. That looks pretty good. My 3 out thread, I can put some heat on that when I pull it. There. Now I'll pick up some of this um, kind of a camo or rainbow. I'm not sure which color. I didn't see that on the bag. That's kind of got a nice bait fish look to it. Some on the far side. Come on this side. Oh. It's really slippery, so you want to make sure you got a lot of heat on it. There we go. Getting back to get our tide down there now. Kind of tones that orange down a little bit, so it's not, I don't like it too bright. But we want our flash coming about halfway the sides that last grayish color and uh, what uh, Veal Redovan, he had a, from Finland, he had one on this morning online and it looked pretty coppery on the side and bottom and I, I don't really have that bronze color so I'm going to go with this. Now I'll come in with some of this olive flash and slinky again where I'll cut it down half blend that taper that out want any want any of the butts to be the same just taper it out this will be the the top now I'm going to tie this on the top corner on the far side I'm going to come on the top corner on this side And then it's important that they cover where the last one left off. That way your materials are all going to be working for you there. Now I'll just finish my thread off here. It's not really critical that I make this look too pretty because I'm going to cover that up with my eyes and my UV resin. Okay. Cut that off. I'll brush that out a little bit and it'll look a lot better. Now I'll bring in some of my no tack UV resin. Put some on the side of my thread here. Then grab an eye. Oops. Each side where I want it. Just kind of get that set on. I'll go to this side. A couple little stragglers there. Get them cleaned up. Okay, grab another. Some resin on this side. The head. A little. I'm running out of resin here. I'm going to have to get some more of that. Take a little time to build the head up, but this is really key component for you. Make sure your eyes are kind of shaped where you want them. And UV will lock it in place. I've got kind of a nice shape you're going to see a lot of space underneath there we're going to fill that up with the resin now that the eyes are stuck in there what 
I'll get to the resin here in a minute. I should leave it I'll leave it upside down, It'll be all over my bench. I want it to run down in the eyes there real good before I hit it with a light. There we go. Now we'll come in on the other side. That'll it's got the right thickness too. It just kind of runs down in the eyes. You just give it a minute to run down there where you're happy with. It's filled in between the eyeballs. There you go. Really nice pattern. So nice nowadays we can look online and get so many different ideas from each other and trick it out. Somebody got another another way of doing things. I always like fish and perch patterns and this is one I liked really when I seen it. I'm gonna have a bunch of these boxes this year. And we also know there's goldfish at Dragon Lake are about this color too. Brian Shannis let me know that. They said it's goldfish have kind of changed color to the environment over there. So if you want to catch some big rainbows, we caught a lot of big rainbows in our private lakes with perch patterns as well. They were snuck in there from a creek system and thought they were going to take over but the big rainbows are actually eating them you get fish over 10 pounds they'll be all over this and I'm going to put my markers on the side my little bear bird markers perch have that's quite a deal to identify them and our friend from Phil in Finland he actually put a little bit of a couple orange stripes on the bottom of his kind of nice little add-on too Try that. So there it is, folks. I'll tell you a really nice, simple little pattern that uh, you'll be able to use a lot of places. It's easy to throw. So you've got a lot of real nice chunk of meat there too for a big predator there, pike or walleye or just you name it. They'll they'll eat it. Like I said, trout, bass. You can go to different colorations of this fly. Just change it up for whatever your your bait fish are that you're targeting. So. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll have to brush that out. I see some of those aren't there. I see once they want to blend, they'll marry in a little bit better. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again real soon.